Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Price and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uploading files to Amazon S3 today. Uh, basically, I've got this problem. There's a friend of mine, he has a podcast, and he actually used to host it on my server. Deciding to host the files over on Amazon S3, it's more reliable, it's not taking up any of our server resources, our processor, our memory, to have to serve those files all the time. So, right now, if I go ahead and uh, click on this file, what you'll notice is that I get this error message back because the directory that this file lives in is actually pointing over to S3. We've redirected all the files except for this one which I'm going to be using for this example. So Amazon has this service called the Simple Storage Service which is S3 for short. And you go to aws.amazon.com slash S3 and you click on the link for a Simple Storage Service and you go here and you check it out. Uh, it costs a couple cents every month for every gigabyte that you upload and a couple cents every month for every gigabyte that you store. And the upload and download cost the same amount, the storage costs a slightly different amount, but it's very inexpensive and if you really average it out it tends to be maybe a little bit more expensive than having a server that you manage yourself, but it takes a lot of the overhead out of it. And in order to uh, use this with Firefox, which is my browser of choice, there's a pretty neat plugin I found. It's called the Amazon S3 Firefox Organizer. And you can find this on the Mozilla official add on site for Firefox. Just search for S3 and you'll find the S3 Firefox Organizer. So they give you this nice big, pretty green button. Give it a click. And there's a small disclaimer here, which is fine. Just click on through that, but please pay attention and then you get the regular Firefox install window. Click on install. Alright, so once that's all finished, you actually have to restart Firefox in order to get that to work, but it's okay because Firefox will remember all of your tabs and what you were doing at the time. And actually you can see right here is the file that I want to be uploading in just a minute. So as soon as Firefox comes back, it's going to let us know that one new plugin has been installed. That's really nice. And up here under the Tools menu, you'll notice there's a new option called S3 Organizer. If you click on this, you get prompted to put in your credentials for Amazon S3, and you get asked where you would like to, uh, which bucket, quote unquote, you would like to connect to. And I've already set up connecting to my particular bucket, but in order to do that, what you need to do is in your Amazon S3 account, there will be an area called your account and a link for security credentials. Click on this link and it will give you all the instructions. There's a public key and a private key that you have to enter in order to get yourself authenticated. And then you can switch back. This S3 plugin just opens up in a tab here in, in Firefox. And this is the bucket that I've created. The bucket is sort of like a virtual hard drive, but it's sitting up on the internet and it's distributed across several different servers that are under the Amazon data centers. So it's got backup and it's got some distributed processing applied to it. So it's very high availability. It ends up being pretty speedy. And there are also upgrades you can add in order to turn this into more like a content delivery network where you can end up having this distributed across the globe and not just several computers. Um, if I click here on my bucket, it's called Liberator. This is where we keep a bunch of podcasts. And the podcast we're talking about today is the student of the game. So it's here in this folder, SOTG. And so at this point, it just looks like a regular old file browser or FTP. And over here, if you're familiar with FTP paradigm, normally you've got one window that is your local computer and one window that is your remote computer. And so I can click here and I can push this little arrow to push it up, or I can sort of drag and drop this file over to the side. And now I have a queue down here at the bottom and it says, you know, here I am, I'm uploading. And so this is going to take a few minutes, but I'm going to go get a cup of coffee and when we come back, we will rejoin the tutorial. All right, so we've only got a few more steps before we can deploy this file and let everybody go and download it. I just wanted to show you really quickly about where to add a new account. You click on the Manage Accounts button, and it'll give you a slot to give your account a name, and this is where you can type your secret key, and then there's also a place to type your super duper secret key that you don't want to share with anyone. And those aren't actually real credentials, but when you clear this out, 
Uh, it actually ends up refreshing my window for me, but that's okay. I don't have too many folders in here. I can just jump right into the student of the game folder again. And now if I scroll down, they're all organized in sort of alphabetical order. I should be able to see there's my show 127. We sort of didn't account for three numbers worth of digits when we were originally naming this show, but it's been going on for quite a while now. And the real problem here is if I go back to my original window here and I try to download the same file, I will now get a different error message that says access denied. That's because this file has access per permissions on it. And basically what I have to do is click on this little pencil that says edit ACL. ACL stands for access control list. I click on that button and it will bring up this pop-up that lets me see who can do what here. And what I want to do is let everyone be able to read this. And I'm just going to click right here on this X. And it's going to take a second to respond, but that's okay. So it turns green and if you're actually applying this to a folder, you can you can check this little box down here that says apply to subfolders. So you can really apply this to every file inside of one directory and it'll go through recursively and attach that same permission, which in this case we just want to let everyone be able to read. We don't want them to write or control the file, just, just be able to download it and click OK. And then it sends that message up to Amazon and now I should be able to go back here to my file and reload the browser. And here we go, and there's my sound file, and it'll start playing right away um, unless you right-click on it to download it. And that's about as simple as it is. Once again, the S3 Firefox Organizer is the name of the plugin. And if you are interested in web development and possibly even some stuff with Drupal, we have a whole website here that I help contribute to. We have a weekly podcast. It's called Drupal Easy. You can go to DrupalEasy.com and check it out. Once again, I've been Ryan Price, and thanks for watching.